Now we shall study about the cotton mills in India. As to how did the cotton mills start in India? What were the problems faced by them? Where did they establish the cotton mills and why? And how did the re-emergence of the cotton textile industry take place in India? If we look at the history of the cotton mills in India, first of all, the spinning mill in Bombay was established in the year 1854 because raw material was easily available near Bombay as it is a cotton producing belt. Besides from here, the trade could be carried on as it is near the sea to various countries of the world. By 1900, we see that 84 mills had been established in Bombay and the owners of these mills were generally the Parsis and the Gujaratis who were very rich and who wanted to invest money to bring in more profits. Besides Bombay, other places also saw the emergence of the mills in India like Ahmedabad 1861. Kanpur 1862 and when all this was going on we see that lot of people migrated from smaller places to these places where the spinning or the cotton mills were established as they were looking for employment as their traditional handicraft industry had totally declined by this time of course the new cotton mills also did not have a very smooth sailing because they had to initially face lot of problems like they faced lot of competition from the European and the British textile which were better made and were available at a cheaper price. In the world we see that the gen generally the government tries to protect the home industry by imposing heavy duties on the imports but the British government in India declined to take any of such measures. But as God willed, the Indian mills or the cotton mills in India had a revival during the First World War when the mills in Britain declined and this is the time they needed lot of supplies for the military which were manufactured in India giving a boom to the cotton mills or the cotton industry, textile industry in India.